Suppose you just read something about the coronavirus and you want to check in to see if the author is credible. What can you do? Well, credibility is a measure of whether or not you should believe what they're writing about. Is this source reliable? Basically, it lets you know how much confidence you should have in what they're writing about. Should you believe in their data? Should you believe their analysis and conclusions? Here's what I do. This is an article I found on the New York Times website. That's a pretty high quality news source, but let's check out the credentials of these authors. First, I'm gonna look at the authors' names. Here, Jonathan Coram and Carl Zimmer. As you can see, those are links. So if I click there, I get to the about page or other articles written by this person. But as you can see here, this person is actually the science graphics editor, not the author. This is the illustrator graphics science person. Who's the other person? The other person here is Carl Zimmer. Let's click on his bio. And what we see here is Carl Zimmer is a regular columnist for the Times and writes uh, about, this is that article about the virus fear, about testing drugs and the coronavirus. Coronavirus, you can see this person knows a lot about science, medicine, and genetics. So this is already starting to tell me this is a pretty interesting guy. The other thing I want to do is scroll through the article and see, oh, there really are a lot of illustrations here. This is why it's an illustrator and a writer combination piece. So if I go all the way to the bottom, one of the things I want to check here is what their sources were. Where did they get all this technical information? And if I read down here, sources, uh, National Center for Biotech, University of Maryland, Med School, San Francisco State University, Journal of Virology. These are all pretty good sources. So that's making me feel good. But let's check in a little bit more about this author. Who is Carl Zimmer? One of the things you can do is look for Carl Zimmer on Wikipedia. And you'll see there's a lot of stuff here. Writer, blogger, columnist, journalist who specializes in evolution, parasites, and heredity. Pretty interesting stuff. Obviously went to Yale obviously has a bunch of books. So you can see here, let's look at these books. Macroevolution, evolution, parasitology, evolution. So this is a guy who knows a little bit about science, a little bit about medicine, and as you can see, a whole lot about different aspects of viruses. He's written books on this topic. So this is giving me a very good feeling about this guy. Another thing we can do is go to Google Scholar. And for somebody who's like this, Searching for their name on Google Scholar is often a really useful thing to do. And sure enough, here we have lots of information, lots of books and articles he's written. If I click here on the user profile, you'll see all of his writings that have made it into Scholar. And as you can see, his H index number over here, that is the number of citations and the quality of those citations is pretty darn high. That's a great number. Anything above 25 is, is great. 32 is extremely good. So you can see this person has written a lot. Of course, the other thing you can do to sort of get a sense for what else he's written is to look for the double quoted phrase by Carl Zimmer. Why do we do this? Because people put in bylines. That means the phrase by an author's name. So if I search for the double quoted version of that, I will find other articles by Carl Zimmer. And you can see books you expect, other articles from the Times, Scientific American, The Atlantic. These are all pretty good references. And so I feel very good about this guy. The alternative is you search for an author and you don't find any of these things. That should make you worry. If you don't see this and you don't see that and you don't see this other thing, you should start to think maybe this person is not an authority on this topic. Maybe what they're writing is not credible. So what's credibility? Well, note that an author is credible with respect to a particular topic area. But if you don't find a trail of evidence, it could be that it's just a new or young writer. That's not to say their work is low quality. It's just that they haven't written much of it yet. Remember, credibility like trust and authority it's something that you earn over time. It's the track record you have. It's the trail of writing that the author has created. Look for that trail and then make your own call about whether or not you should trust them and what they've written.